Byte, or what is being referred to as Vine 2.0, has just released on Android and iOS, which allows you to post six second videos, as, you know, like Vine worked. If you want to make videos for yourself, you need to make a new composition in your video editor. I'm going to show you how to do this in both Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. So in Resolve, make a new timeline, set your project settings to 1080 by 1920, because that is the format of 9 by 16 that Byte uses. Go ahead and make a new project timeline in that. Go ahead and edit your video, and then make sure when you're going to the Deliver tab and rendering out your video that it's also set to 1080 by 1920. Go ahead and hit export and i'll show you in just a second how to import that on your phone in premiere pro make a new sequence go to custom settings go to your resolution options again 1080 by 1920 hit okay edit your video and then under your render settings whereas resolve generally matches your render settings premiere doesn't necessarily so make sure in your export settings in premiere again you either hit match source or you uncheck that and you manually type in 1080 by 1920 so you get a 9 by 16 video ready to go export that now in this instance i'm actually going to export to my dropbox folder because that's going to sync to my dropbox cloud and then i'll be able to import that on my phone you can also use google drive and a couple other services that you have synced up on your phone i'm going to show you with google drive and dropbox here so once that's finished uploading go ahead and flip over to your phone and open up the byte app now theoretically this should work great straight from the byte app if you hit new, the picture icon in the center the circle and then go over to the bottom right and click the album icon to access videos now you can do this from your camera roll or from you know if you edit it on your phone or from videos that you have made otherwise click the hamburger menu in the top left and then you can choose from a variety of different locations where your files are saved so for example i have two different google drive accounts google photos and dropbox or your local folders on your phone i'm going to go to dropbox I'm going to navigate to where that video was saved, which is in a byte folder, and then I'm going to select it and upload it. And it's going to download it from Dropbox, and then theoretically, it should just import it into your byte, and you're ready to post it. The same thing with Google Drive. However, for me, I believe this is a bug. It just kind of kicks me back to the file menu. So if that happens to you, go ahead and go to Dropbox, find your file, click the three dots next to it, hit export, and then hit save to device and I just added it to my downloads folder and then back in byte you can then just navigate under the album icon go to downloads as an option and select the file from there and it will let you post it in Google Drive you find the file you wish to download click the three dots next to it and click download and it's just going to save it to your files and now if you're navigating in Byte and you go to the album icon, it will show up in downloads. Now, of course, I downloaded a picture here just for ease and you can't add pictures, but you get the idea. So that's how you quickly make, you know, make sure your videos are six seconds or less, but how you quickly export videos from your PC to your phone to post to Byte if you want to post a little bit more edited content. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Of course, go follow me on Byte on the Byte app. I am Vox on there, of course. And hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education. I'm Eposvox. I'll see you next time.